Okay, graphing transformations with exponential functions. The first type we're gonna talk about are graphing vertical shifts. So when we get going on this, we wanna start with a graph that we know about. So the two to the X graph, this has two key points. One's gonna be at zero, one. Plug in a zero, two to the zero power is equal to one. And then if you plug in a one, we get one, two coming out. So identify those key points, go ahead and put those on the graph. And then let's go ahead and try to graph the rest of this. Can I focus on two key points? If you want more, you certainly can go with more. What's gonna happen on this is over on the left-hand side, we get close to the x-axis. We say that's a horizontal asymptote at zero. And it increases without bound on the right-hand side. So to this graph, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it based on this plus three. Now I would describe this plus three as attached to the entire function. We're adding three to everything. It's not up in the exponent with the X. Otherwise, if it was with the X um, in the exponent, it would be a horizontal shift. But in this case, if you add or subtract a number from the entire function, it's gonna be a vertical movement of some sort. So in this case, everything's been moved up three units. So what I wanna do is I'm trying to graph this is I need to shift our horizontal asymptote and each of these key points up three units. So first of all, our horizontal asymptote was at the x-axis at y equals zero. It's gonna move up three units to y equals three. I'm gonna indicate with that, that with a dashed line going on here. And then our other two key points, we had one at zero, one. As we move that up three units, so we are at zero, one, we go up one, two, three. That key point is now gonna be at zero, four. And the second key point was at one, two. If we move that up one, two, three units, that's now going to be at 1, 5. So track around those key points. I find that to be very, very helpful as we're trying to get nice graphs of these. And then everything else gets picked up and moved up as well. So in reality, it should look like the exact same graph just picked up, moved up three units and set back down. Okay, the domain for all of these exponential functions is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. We're allowed to plug in whatever x value we want. The range has changed in this case. You'll notice that it is uh, capped off here at the bottom with this horizontal asymptote. That horizontal asymptote is now at y equals three. So our range has to be above that y value. So we'd say from three to infinity, leave out the three because we get infinitely close to three over at the left-hand side, but we never quite get there. And I've already listed out our key points of zero, four and one, five. Let's look at one more example of this vertical shifting when we do a two to the X minus three. So in getting started, I would identify our key points for two to the X's graph. Again, zero, one, and one, two. I'm just kind of reusing this graph. It doesn't always have to be two to the X power as your starting function. Um, but for simplicity's sake, that's what I'm doing. It's always one comma, whatever the base is. All right, in this case, what's happened is every, we have a three being subtracted from the entire function. So that's gonna be a vertical shift. In this case, it's gonna move everything down three units. So again, the three things to track around, the horizontal asymptote and these two key points. First of all, that horizontal asymptote was at the x-axis at zero. It's been moved down three units. So I'm gonna indicate that with a dashed line going across here at negative three. It's not indicated when it's on the axis because the axis is more important, but after you move it down three units, it's off the axis. We will use dashed line to indicate it. All right, from zero, one. That point got picked up, moved down one, two, three units. So I believe we're at zero, negative two. Just kind of writing that off to the side. And then when we're at one, two, that gets moved down one, two, three units. So we're gonna be at one, negative one. From here, we we'll just kind of sketch the rest of it in. Hopefully it looks pretty nice. but really focus on those two key points, make sure they're in the right place and the rest of it tends to track along pretty nicely. Hopefully this looks like the same graph on the left-hand side, picked out, moved down three units and set back down. That's what it should look like. Now the domain is still negative to positive infinity. The horizontal asymptote moved down three units. So it's at y equals negative three now. Our graph is still above that. So we'd say from negative three to infinity but don't include the negative three, leave that out. And our key points are indicated over here on the left-hand side, zero, negative two, one, negative one. 
All right, hope this helps out with vertical transformations. Next up, horizontal transformations.